Hey, fellow gamers and Final Fantasy enthusiasts. Welcome back to Joystick News, your one-stop channel for deep dives, game reviews, and all the juicy details on the latest and greatest in the gaming world. Today, we're gearing up for the launch of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the highly anticipated sequel in the FF7 Remake trilogy. Square Enix has been dropping hints and details like breadcrumbs, leading us to this moment, and I'm here to gather all those crumbs into one big, delicious loaf of information. So, let's jump right into the 13 new details about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that you probably don't know, Sephiroth's combat and abilities. First up, the big bad himself, Sephiroth, will be playable during the Nibelheim flashback, showcasing his formidable combat skills. Square Enix promises a blend of powerful combos, ranged attacks, and devastating finishers, all while allowing Sephiroth to parry and counter with style. His abilities, like Zanshin and Hell's Gate, are set to make him an unstoppable force on the battlefield. Limit Break, Octoslash Sephiroth's Limit Break, Octoslash, is making a comeback, letting him unleash a flurry of eight lethal strikes. This move is a nod to his appearances in Crisis Core. Final Fantasy VII, and the Final Fantasy VII Remake, making it a treat for fans across the series. Synergy Abilities Final Fantasy VII Rebirth introduces Synergies, a new combat mechanic allowing characters to team up for powerful moves. Sephiroth's Double Helix and Dual Blade Dance Synergies promise to be both visually stunning and strategically vital, offering new layers to combat. More Synergies and Summons Beyond Sephiroth, we're getting a glimpse at other character synergies and a roster of summons that include fan favorites like Titan, Bahamut Arisen, and Phoenix. These allies bring their own flair to battles, from earth-shattering attacks to fiery support skills. The Affinity System The Affinity System will track Cloud's relationships with his companions, affecting who joins him for a special sequence at the Gold Saucer. This system adds a layer of depth to interactions, encouraging players to engage more deeply with the cast. Sid's role Sid Highwind, while not a full party member in Rebirth, will still play a crucial role, piloting the tiny Bronco and aiding the party from the skies. The Return of Biggs Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sees the return of Biggs, who survived the events of the remake. His quest for vengeance against Shinra adds a personal stake to the broader narrative meeting key characters. The game will introduce us to important figures like Dine, Dio, Solemn Gus, and Sharon, each bringing their own stories and revelations that enrich the world of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Remno Wave Towers Embracing open world elements, Rebirth features Remno Wave Towers that, once activated, reveal side quests and activities, echoing a familiar open world trope with a Final Fantasy twist. Chocobo Stops Stray Chocobo Chicks lead players to broken Chocobo stops, unlocking fast travel points and rewarding players with golden plumes. It's a charming way to encourage exploration. No DLC plans. Interestingly, Square Enix has confirmed no immediate plans for DLC content for Rebirth, focusing instead on completing the trilogy. This could mean a more comprehensive base game experience, but also leaves us wondering about the future post-launch support. My take on these details. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is shaping up to be more than just a sequel. It's a love letter to fans and a testament to Square Enix's commitment to this beloved universe. The addition of synergy attacks, a deeper dive into character relationships through the affinity system, and the strategic elements introduced by summons and combat abilities suggest a rich, immersive experience. However, the lack of DLC plans raises questions about the game's longevity and post-launch evolution. The return of iconic characters and the introduction of new mechanics are poised to make Rebirth a memorable chapter in the Final Fantasy saga. It's clear Square Enix is pulling out all the stops, blending nostalgia with innovation in a way that honors the original while charting new territory. What are your thoughts on these new details? Are you excited about the direction, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? is taking? Drop your comments below and let's get the conversation going. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more gaming goodness from Joystick News. Until next time, keep gaming.